Warm welcome to the Quantum Astrology Report with me, Eva Christofferson, Soul Warrior Energy from Sweden. And this is about the fall equinox and the full moon now in, at the end of September. Fall equinox the 23rd in the morning here in, in Sweden, Central European time, 3.55 a.m. That means fall equinox will be 9.55 p.m. in Eastern Standard Time. And the full moon, the 25th here in Europe, will be at 4.52 a.m. And that means uh, 20, no, 8.52 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, magical times. It's really exploding now, everything. And uh, I have an announcement about my services. I have a 20% sale at the rest, in the rest of September. So check the details below or listen at the end uh, of this video for my 20% sale offer. For this fall equinox and uh, full moon, I will draw a rune. And this rune looks like this. And I have to look that one up. And it's, uh, one moment. It's Avas. It's a special tree. Uh, it stands for the cycle of death and rebirth. It's often um, connected with endings that leads to new possibilities. Yeah, end of the old mat matrix in with the new crystalline grid. Uh, this is about ending in life. Hmm. It can be very destructive to hold on to the past, this book says, and um, just rush as nothing has happened. We have imprinted patterns, especially from our first seven years in this life and from other lives imprinted in our emotional body and we have to look up when we get triggered when we react check what in your childhood is this what is happening so and for the fall equinox the balance of the zero point energy in libra harmony peace and for the full moon at one degree of Libra I want to draw a quantum tarot card and this is ace of sword ace of sword and that one is to um, signifies clarity of perception, the ab ability to cut through confusion to the truth. Where do you need to fo fo focus your cutting edge? Cut through confu confusion to the truth. That's really a team now. Thank you, Carlson. And the, these, the rooms and the cards are just an extension of, of my connection with the source. I love to do it. I could have spoken about it with my intuition, but I love to use the cards. Uh, and before I start, so much now about the event. Everyone is talking about the event. and. Everything is, is a lot of information, I think. 
Uh, I'm so glad I, I'm able to be here at this channel to guide, to remind you and me about my perception and remind you about what's in you, especially with my starseed reading or uh, my horoscope readings. But it's also this ascension. It's an inner evolution. The event is inner, it's inside us. Everything goes to quantum physics with the extension to the new age tells us that the observer defines reality. That means that as within, so without. The vibration within decides the mirror you get without. So everything that happens comes and emanates inside of you. So please take care of the event inside you because that's why we are here with star seeds. Many of you that listen to this are star seeds. We are here to anchor the light on earth. We are needed in this ascension. There will be no ascension if we weren't here on earth and anchor the light and transmute the dark to light inside us. Forget about the UFOs, forget about the energies outside. Take care, perhaps not forget, but you know my, you see my point. Take care of yourself. Take care of everything. Speak with yourselves. If, if you are triggered by dark, darkness, dark information, etc., speak with yourselves that are dark inside you, that you don't care about. See how are you treating yourself. It starts and ends here inside. The event is an inner evolution to the unity consciousness, and everything is consciousness. Yeah, so, and then I want to share, it's also like this, as above, so below. So the reflection of the energies within and with the holographic codes from without and the energy from the planets, the transits, gives the current uh, reality for you, but it's your individual reality that comes from within you, but with connection then with the rest of the culture, with the rest of society, with the rest of this um, still terrible earth, and with the incoming waves and years, and so much coming, the end of of the Virgo season now, Sun in Virgo, has been so much purging so much for me and for many, I believe. And that's the event. It's happening inside. Take care of it. See what is triggered. Accept, surrender, embrace, integrate, and go on. See what in your childhood is reflected. Step by step, layer by layer in this inner evolution to anchor the light and then the darkness won't have any chance and no judgment the dark and light it's just polarities in our three-dimensional world it's like a video game it's like an experiment and we star seed and many of our star seed are twin flames we are in this experiment now to really get this evolution going from within because we have this knowledge we know it in our heart in our body in our dna from other star races that we bring here the energy we know that it's an inner process and we are doing it so then we get reminded from outside and i will now remind you about this fall equinox what is this about and I will start with the 23rd, the fall equinox in zero degrees of Libra. Libra, that's justice, harmony, peace, and balance. It's a high vibration, it's opposite areas, areas the most individual, 
the quantum I am, and Libra, the relationships, the harmony, the balance. And the zero point energy here is a great chance to get you yourself into balance because it's conjuncted with the mind, the thought, the communication, the mercury, consciousness, and it's also in direct opposition, zero degrees of areas, the starting points, the spring equinox that starts this three dimensional cycle reflected by the astrology, the Western astrology, the Chiron, the wounded healer here. It's only eight minutes, 60 minutes in one degree. Chiron healing our individual wounds before stepping soon into Pisces again, healing our divine uh, wounds with religion, etc. But now it's our individual wounds. And this is such a great time to heal. Because when we relax, when we see all the triggers, when we surrender, we meditate or do whatever method we have, you have, we step into the zero point energy of nothingness. And from there, we can create with infinite possibilities. And now, it's the cardinal zero point energy, Libra areas. And we have, we have so much going on also. We have connection with the nodal axis, the emotional, uh, intuition, moons, nodes. South node symbolizes giving us our what we bring here, and the north node, our destiny, or what we are heading for now. And we have this south node with Mars and Black Moon Lilith in a trine to the sun and in a sextile to Chiron. Mars at the south node and with Black Moon Lilith. Uh, it's just about that. I could make a whole video because it's so deep transformation of the divine masculine that has been so misused. And it has not passed by, gone retrograde back and then now it's the third time here, the, con the conjunction. It's the memories of the Aquarius, the new age of Aquarius, the individual freedom of Aquarian that is not in any way affected of this patriarchy, this mind control setup when we free ourselves, when we step into the new age of unconditional love. And from this origin, and it's in the sixth house, so it's a transformation. It's the still transformation, daily routines. It can be about anger, daily here, to free yourself and find your daily routines, take care of your body, try to step, continue the Virgo season, season. Check Bruce Lipton, for example, Greg Braden or Joe Dispenza. Uh, the consciousness is everything. All is energy, all is vibration. What we see as matter is energy. It's just vibrating so slow that we see it as dense. But now we are stepping into a new vision. And the old world here, the Saturn with Vesta uh, is a, in transformation. Pluto is here also, the Capricorn. The mind controllers, the, the dark, the separation, they fight for their lives, the acorns, etc. And they will use the full moon to harvest. So, and what they harvest is every time we judge ourselves every time we treat ourselves and others badly etc not only the wars and all that terrible stuff it's 
it's also how are we living the message? How are we living the message? And every time we get into fear, get into trigger, get into judgment, etc., uh, anger, etc., we give away our energy to the hijackers. But we have a choice. The setup, the hijacker system, is as, is we have a choice to embrace, to take our own energy back and send others' energy back to them. We have a choice to heal ourselves with the Chiron here. And Chiron is in the eighth house of transformation. Hmm. Uranus, the big one, is 144. That's the twin flame number. I just, I didn't see that earlier. Uranus rules the new age of Aquarius and 144 as the twin flame number. So if you see a lot of 144, then you probably are a twin flame. Many of our stars are also in this twin flame experiment to accelerate everything. And how do you find your twin flame? Trust yourself, love yourself. When you love yourself unconditionally, your twin flame will appear. Here on earth, physically, or in another dimension on the other side of the way, etc. That's the way. Don't search outside. Everything is an internal process. Everything. I will keep up saying that until we, I, really do it because that's to anchor the light here on earth to get this vertical pillar of light in every time dimensions of unconditional love so uranus is in a big trine here it's in taurus it's a lot of things will happen about our earth taurus is ruled by earth traditionally by venus but i see earth as the ruler of taurus and so much will happen, so much happens, and the event is now inside. It's just for us to accept, to surrender, to step inside, 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 and connect with the energy waves coming in. And then we will do that in different phases, of course, because we are individual. But it's now, it's happening, it's really going on now. <laughs> What we long for, what we fight, fought for, what we have been on a barricade. Now we are in this internal event happening now. Isn't that absolutely amazing? So this big drive is going on to Ascendant at Regulus, the royal fixed star Regulus, the kingmaker. Ascendant is the first house, this is our personality right now for this event here at this latitude. And the king maker is Regulus, is also the home for the magical dragons, uh, elves, mermaids, unicorns, Pegasus, etc. Those magical creatures helping us, the mystical, magical ones, the positive dragons. Uh, we have the dark dragons also. But the darkness, that's a matter of perception, how you, how you see that. So don't judge. Take care of what's happening inside you. Uh, so this Uranus with the Regulus trine and going down to Vesta, that's an, also an Earth asteroid, and Saturnus, our holographic reality here in Capricorn. And back to Uranus. So Uranus will change everything here on Earth. Everything is going on. And the Twin Flame experiment is, is at its crescendo here, 144. And we have in the eighth house also Aries and Kali in, connect, in opposition to the Arcturian energy in Libra. Arcturian electromagnetic 
masters of divine energy. And we have Ceres in Libra, also Mother, also Demeter, Mother Earth. What's going on more? We have a finger of God. Of course we have a finger of God. When then something very, very important happens as this fall equinox and full moon, we have a finger of God. It's going on from, can you say it? Mars, South Node, Lilith. Here. It's, it's um, amazing. 150 degrees to Regulus Ascendant and then 150 degrees to Chiron. And this Regulus, it's also the North Node symbolism here because we have a trine from Chiron to North Node also to step into the light shining light inside shining up our own reality and get that mirror back stepping into our magnificent the Leo the Kingmaker on the scene in the way you want it and intended it with Osiris and Isis here also in the 12th house stepping into the unknown into the nirvana the pisces energy the 12th house the unconsciousness and light it up light up the darkness and moon is in pisces in a conjunction eight degrees but still it's counted with neptune the source so our emotional Intuition, feminine moon is in connection with the source. And Venus is then also in, still in an opposition to Uranus. I want to, to check also the full moon because this is amazing stuff here. Uh, 25th of September, 4.52 Central European time in the morning. And... It's not much happened, uh, changed. Uh, ascendant is then in Virgo. So the, the first house now is with the Sun, Mercury and Demeter. Our individual quantum I am creation with the Sun. And we have a, a Uranus 140 instead of 144. Still, it's 140. Uh, and the, the finger of God has gone away, but we have, of course, this opposition to the moon. And the moon is then at Cairo. So we're healing with our emotions also. And, and look back when, when something happens. For example, for me, I have challenges with economy. I have had all my life. How was the environment for economy in my family my first seven years? I was very fundamentally uh, raised, religious, etc. And money was not good. It's what's, it, was, it was a fight and you had to really work very hard to get the money. And those who had a lot of money, there was a lot of envy about them. And it was, it was judged to have a lot of money, etc. So I bring with me all those to work very hard to get my money and to really don't like money. And of course, they don't come that way. You don't like, I know that, but now I'm, I'm learning to find the joy and and seeing so step back and see in the relation in something that's ha happening step back and see what's this in your first seven years telling you about yourself uh, the full moon is then the harvest period for can be for farmers but it is for the dark beings that have set up this system but we are now leaving the system we're going into the crystalline grid of light with this inner event it's happening trust and do it and if you want a reading a star seed reading 20 percent off prices click on show more on the text under this video 20 percent off all of all september 
the rest of September. And also I have other, for example, quantum astrology, birth, uh, chart and progressive chart together. A progressive chart is really a hub because when you leave the natal energies, you transform, transmute those more and more. You can step into the progressive energies that is shown by the progressive chart. And that uh, can be a really revelation to look at that one. So contact me if you want a reading and take care of this full equinox and full moon. It's magic time. It's the event. It's happening now. Bye-bye.